Hey you guys, it's Lacey, and I had somebody ask me to uh, explain electrolyzers and hydrogen generators and how they all work together. So uh, that's what I'm going to do today. So this base is, was actually built during a stream, and I have a pretty decent electrolyzer and hydrogen generator set up here. So electrolyzers make a thousand kilograms worth of gas, most of it's oxygen, 888 grams of of oxygen per second and then it makes 112 grams of hydrogen per second so if you put these in a closed room and you try to manage the gas with just pumps then you would need two pumps for each electrolyzer but if you put gas permeable tiles below them um, and you just have pumps at the top of your base basically to filter out hydrogen uh, you don't really have to worry about that rule of thumb because at the top, it's mostly going to catch the hydrogen. For example, I have four electrolyzers going here, um, and I'm not having any trouble with hydrogen buildup. These are getting a little bit of max gas pressure um, because they are surrounded, basically. I don't have this all dug out yet. But to be honest, them hitting max gas pressure is fine. They don't use anything while they're in that state. If you get your base to completely max gas pressure, then yay, good job. So them hitting max gas pressure, you're like, well, shouldn't I be worried about the efficiency of that? Like, don't I need more oxygen? Well, you don't really need more oxygen. Um, <laughs> this setup works pretty well. In fact, I may have too many going. I may only need two at this point. When I have this all dug out, I need usually something this size, I think about six I think it I think it's usually about six and when I have six I usually have six pumps up here um, with one gas filter for each two pumps so this setup here is about one unit if you ignore these two um, they're just kind of add-ons right now they haven't had their pumps built here you have your two electrolyzers and a pump above each and they will grab any hydrogen and they'll send it over to this hydrogen generator the hydrogen generator makes a little bit of electricity, but it's not enough to run this whole setup by itself. Um, so if we go over to this, you'll see that it makes electricity, um, but it's not, it's not quite enough, which is why I have these two manual generators here um, on this battery. You could also put one manual generator out here and connect it to these two batteries to kickstart the pumps whenever you need to. Uh, I recommend having only these on uh, one circuit so that you know it's fine. Here I have some pepper plants on it, but that's because we were doing this during stream. Um, and that was that's a temporary setup. This is about 840 watts, I think. But yeah, basically what you all you need is two electrolyzers, two pumps, go into a gas filter, the gas filters out, uh, the gas filters filtered output, the orange one, or yellow I guess, goes to a hydrogen generator, and the unfiltered goes down to into your base to make sure it's getting plenty of oxygen down there. Um, the hydrogen generator is connected with heavy gauge wire. Uh, to a battery or two. You don't need to probably unless you have more than one hydrogen generator. Um, and then it goes to a power transformer to power all this, but you definitely want a manual generator in here or out here to kickstart these pumps because sometimes it's just not enough power. If you add more pumps and filters to your setup, you'll probably want to put all of the hydrogen into one gas pipe and send it to several different hydrogen generators with a gas valve set to about 100 grams. Uh, that's what a hydrogen generator needs, is 100 grams. Also, if you wanna power more than one hydrogen pump and you have enough hydrogen, it keeps it from all rushing to the first pump and leaving the second pump out. So I hope this has been helpful. I hope I covered everything that you need to know. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Uh, yeah, well, if you enjoyed this video, then please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss me when I go live on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 1 p.m. Eastern or when I post a video. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. 
And always remember, you are special and amazing. And thank you for being you. I love you guys. Bye.